Welcome back, gang. We are now ready to start working on a chat feature. So we need to build first a place for our chat rooms, and we're going to create a link here um, for that as well. So let's head over to the text editor and start working on that. We're going to open up a new terminal, and then we're going to create a model. So PHP artisan make model and we'll call it room so we're going to need a migration and a factory the next thing we'll need is a controller so we'll type in php artisan make controller we'll put it in the user folder we'll call it room controller and we are actually going to attach the model of room okay so we'll press enter and let that build we can now get started in our table okay so the first field that we're going to need is it's going to be a string and then we're going to call it name okay so it's going to be the name of each of the rooms so we can copy and paste that one the next string we're going to have is slug okay um and it's just going to be so that we can use our routes we can call the rooms with the routes uh, using the slug so table unsigned big integer okay this is going to be the active field all active is going to do is have a count of how many users are in that actual room for each room okay that's all that is so we need to give this a default of zero the next thing i want to do is head over to the factory room factory and start working in here we are actually going to be making our rooms um we're going to list them by states you can create your default rooms however you want with uh ages gender whatever whatever um type of social network you're building you just work around that but for our purposes we're just going to be using state um and then we're going to use factory or faker and faker has a function for state okay so now in the name field we're just going to add the variable that we're using this state property okay the next thing we need is the slug and we're going to be using laravel's uh, laravel's string helper okay and this one is going to be state and then we need to give it a um separator so we'll just use slug for this and then separate it by a hyphen okay comma and then we need the active and we're just going to make a random of zero of between zero and 50 so that's gonna that means between zero and 50 users per room okay so let's go ahead and import these and it's going to be illuminate support string don't worry about this little curly line here it's something it it's something with my um extensions that's making some of the laravel um the laravel helpers not work correctly so don't worry about that one it's fine okay um the next thing we want to do is go down to the cedars and bring in this factory okay so we can just copy and paste this one and then we'll uncomment this one so that we don't get another uh another set of comments because we're just looking at room Okay, we're going to make five. Okay, and now we're going to come down here to the terminal and we're going to run php artisan migrate and then we're going to give it the seed flag to seed those rooms for us. Okay, so that looks like it's done. Let's go back to the database and refresh it and um make sure that that new room table is in here 
and it is and if we go to it we already have um five different states listed in here with their slug and the active as well okay let's go back to the text editor we can drop this and then we can go ahead and close all these down and close these down so let's go to our web route um let's just go ahead bring it to the bottom we'll just copy this one and then just change it as we need it um let's see let's get rid of these two and then the prefix is going to be chat rooms okay the name is going to be chat rooms okay chat dash rooms and then uh for the prefix is chat slash rooms okay group function is the same this is going to be a get this is going to be we don't have to put anything in here we need to bring in the room controller we'll bring that in here room controller and the name and the name the function that we're going to be using it's index so let's go ahead and make sure we import this room okay bring that up a bit and let's scroll up top and make sure that we have room controller in here and we do right here okay so let's head over to the room controller and start working in there so room controller now in here we are going to start working with the index function and all we need to do is just to display a page so uh, we haven't created the page yet but we'll do it in a bit so return inertia render user chat rooms and the page itself will just be an index dot view okay and also since we already have the room model we can just go ahead and pass it in so rooms equals room which it's already in there so we can just use get that's fine we need a semicolon down here okay so let's go ahead and create the page we'll go to resources js pages user okay so we need to create a folder and the page so we can use this one and add chat rooms slash index dot view and in here we just need some basic scaffolding for now so we'll do html uh, we'll just add a div for now and we'll just put rooms and then um, javascript and we already have some props coming in so let's go ahead and add those two then we'll make sure that it's being brought in but one thing that I want to do beforehand is um, go to the sidebar uh, so sidebar okay and we need to add another link so we can do this all in one go so we're gonna call this name it's gonna be chat rooms the route is going to be route chat rooms dot index and the icon is just going to be comments okay we also need to add that um oh 
chat rooms. I need a closing tag here. Um, this icon we need to add to the um, to the icon file. So we'll go icon, and I'm just gonna paste it right in here. And again, as always, I'm gonna push all this code up to GitHub so that you can have the all of the icons that we're using for the project and any of the code that we're using. Okay, so we can head back to the index and then go ahead refresh and make sure that that works. So we'll refresh. Okay, so now we have our link here. We can go ahead and click that and it'll take us to our rooms page where we're bringing in rooms. Let's make sure that that prop is coming in correctly. So we'll open up the inspect tools and then we'll open up view. And we'll go inertia index and now we have our list of rooms in here. Okay, cool. Let's head back to the text editor and we can start working on this. We can close the sidebar and the icon. So we need to add the pages layout component first. So pages layout and we need to import that. So we'll just do that real quick now. So import pages layout from at layouts pages layout. Okay, and then we'll add the component section here. So components and we'll just say pages layout. Give that a space. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add our title section. We can do that right in here. So we need a template. Get the closing tag for it. Open it up. And then we need a hashtag title. Okay, and then we need a div. Or we can do flex, flex call. Okay, maybe not because my extensions aren't working very well. So div. Okay, div, div, and we'll open that up, and we're going to put a class of flex, flex call. Okay, oh, now they want to show up. So we'll add an h2, open that, and for the class for the h2, we're going to have font, Class equals font semi bold text XL text gray of 800 and leading tight. Okay, in the H2, we're going to have a span with the class of capitalize and underline. Okay, open those up, and then we're going to call it chat rooms. Now, let's just make sure that all this stuff is coming in correctly. We need to make sure that the pages layout is actually importing. Okay, so everything is compiled. We'll go and we'll refresh, and we can close the, um, the tools, the inspect tools. Okay, cool. So we have our sidebar, our nav bar, and then we have the new title. Okay, so let's head back into the text editor. And then under the H2, we're going to have a table. Okay, and we're going to give it a class of margin top 5. And open that up. So we're going to have a T head. And we are also going to have under that a T body. Okay, so let's work with the head first. We'll open that up. 
and then we're going to have a TR with a class of border bottom and we'll make it let's try border gray 800 open that up and then we need three th sections okay the first one is going to be a class of text left pl of three or three and inside we're going to have a room name colon okay the next one is going to be for active active members the next one is going to have a class of um, text right and a PR of three and then inside of that we're just gonna put join because we're gonna put some buttons in there so let's just take a quick look and make sure that looks okay so we'll come back and we'll refresh okay so cool looks okay so far okay so let's head back to the text editor and keep going so now in this T body we're gonna open it up and we're gonna have a T row and I'm going to go ahead and paste in some classes. Okay, it's just a border and some highlighting uh, with a little bit of a transition effect on them. Okay, um, in this T row, we're going to loop over the rooms. So we need some parentheses, and then we need to add room index in rooms, and the key is going to be room id or sorry we'll just use index okay so now we need uh td and we're going to put in it the room name let's also go ahead and give this one some classes so class equals text left pl3 and a py of 3. okay so now we can copy paste paste and the next one is going to have a class of text center and just a class of py3 this one is going to be room active so it's going to have our active list count, our active count, user count. So now this one will be text, right? PR of three and a PY of three. And we're just going to open this up. Here we're going to use our button component, our green button component button. And oh, we don't really need to open that up, but we can just put join there for now okay now we need a class of text access now if we go to that component green button component this is uh the way we have it set up here is for a um just a regular submit or just a button button but we don't have it actually set up to to be used as a route so how um, inertia handles this is we need to add a click here. So we're going to put at click equals, and then we're going to call this visit. Okay. So now we head down to the props and we have a type already here, but we also need to add an href. And we're just going to leave that as an empty object. Okay. Now we also need to add a method for that click that's up here. Okay, so we're going to add a method section. We'll open that up. And let me scroll down so we can see this better. So it's going to be visit. 
and then it'll be an event and we'll open this up and then we'll say if not this dot href meaning it's not it, it's a it's just a regular button it's not like a a link okay then we'll return okay but if it is we want to take the event prevent default so that it doesn't refresh the page and then we also need to do this inertia visit okay and it'll be this dot href so we'll need to pass in that href okay but we don't have that we don't have that link set yet so we're just going to keep it as um a hashtag which we can put in here okay so href equals hash okay so now let's go ahead and import this button so import green button from at components buttons green button and then we'll bring down this list of components just to make it neat and it'll be green button comma and comma so let's go ahead click refresh and make sure that th that button is coming through and that the other properties that we listed in here are coming through so we'll go ahead and refresh okay cool so we have our list of rooms we have our active members and we have joined with it's got a nice little hover on it okay so i'm gonna leave it here for now and in the next episode we are going to create the pages for these rooms and start working on the components in there okay so i'll go ahead push all this code up to github if you guys have any questions comments or concerns just go ahead drop them down below thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time